You wouldn't believe what I just pulled in the Paladin Fates Elite Trainer box in today's video. Let's Cheekley chat about it. Cheekley? Welcome to Cheekley Chat, it's your boy Cheekley. And in today's video, we're going to be opening up another set of Pokemon cards. This is from the Paldean Fate set. Now, this is not a new set, but this is a very cool set because it has shiny Pokemon in cards. And it does feature some cool artwork. So, we are going to go ahead and open this box up. It should contain nine card packs which means we'll have 90 cards and we're gonna see if we can pull some rare ones. But before we just demolish this box, be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. And let's also go ahead and go over some of the cards that we are looking for in the Paldean Fates set. I should probably iterate that there are some Pokemon that have different coloration than their original form, therefore it is called a shiny. So let's say for example, there's an Oddish right over here. This Oddish is normally blue, but it is a green color, and you can also tell because some of these have some stars around it, which means it is shiny. So some of those standard ones are actually kind of cool, but as we go through this entire list, we want to look for some extremely rare full art cards, if I could go through them. So if we kind of get some more of the EX kinds that are kind of like this, and then if we go further into the pages, you can kind of see some of the illustration arts. The Charizard one, which is right over here, and the Gardevoir next to it are the two of the main ones we're looking for. Ooh, I also want to get the shiny Palafin one, which is like all black and blue. Oh, here's a fun one. We have a Wug Trio alternate art, which is like normally, uh, what is the color, red? But now it's blue, so that's actually going to be really cool to hunt for. And anything shiny is a win but I want to get some of like the extremely rare ones. And then also the full art trainer ones are rare. You also have these EX ones that are full odds um, or the full art ones over here. So those are the ones we're also going to look for. So let's just open up the box. I'm, I'm excited. So inside this box contains a couple of things. It also contains a couple of cards. So we have nine packs of cards that we're going to open. It also has these little sleeves that you could put in there. Also in the box, also is going to have a bunch of other cards, like the little energy ones. And then you also have dividers. It has dice and other things. And it also comes with a promo card, which is a shiny Mimikyu, so, which is actually pretty cool. So we're going to keep this one, and we're just going to go ahead, and we're just going to open up the first pack. Now, if we were to do more, we have another video for a card opening next week. We're going to be opening up the Temporal Forces, which means it's a newer set. And then the newer, newer set is the Twilight Masquerade. That we're going to post in a couple of weeks because um, I already planned some other videos for Cheek Lake Chat when those videos are going to come out. No way! Oh, on the first poll, dude! No way! This is the shiny Palafin art. This is so sick. No way. This is how we're starting the video, dude. No way. We have to sleeve this up immediately. Immediately. I said I wanted to get a Palafin as well as the Gardevoir and the Charizard full art. Dude, we got a really good card to start off the video. And now it's going to go downhill because we're going to pull some really bad ones. I figured if I spoke negatively, then maybe we might get another shiny from this pack, which would be insane. The odds would be like one out of like one third. So like three out of nine cards will most likely have some shinies, which would be crazy if that's the case. I also want to get the Charizard, so if we can get that, that'd be really sick. As I was saying, we're going to open the Twilight Masquerade sometime in June, just because I just decided to open these up. Hey, let's go! We got a shiny Curlia, and we also get a Cerule Edge Hollow, which is really cool. So, yes, shiny Curlia! Dude, two shinies in a row. That is what I am talking about, dude. Now, obviously, the Palafin is way better, but you gotta admit, this is really cool. You can see the stars right there, the details. The details really do matter, so that is really sick. We're gonna put that next to the Palafin. Is this really how we're gonna start? <laughs> Are we really just gonna, like, 
I don't know, like, this is, this is insane, bro. So like I said, because I got distracted with a bunch of shinies, Temporal Forces is gonna be next week. We're just gonna open up one Elite Trainer box and then three extra cards just because. And then a couple weeks later, we are going to open up the Boom, Goldango. Okay, the hollow looks really good for that. I'll, I'll put that aside. Because despite the fact that the Twilight Masquerade set has been released last week, we are going to open that up in a couple of weeks just because we have some other Cheek Lay Chat videos. Because not every single Cheek Lay Chat video is Pokemon focused, right? This is like the first time I'm doing Pokemon content outside of Pokemon Go, simply because it's a card opening set, so... So far, we only got two shinies. Can we go for another? No, we will not. And now we're opening up card pack number five. So we're at two for four. So we're half half of the cards that we opened up so far, we got some shinies. Let's see if we can get another one. Preferably the alternate rare art one that has the the thing. What is it called? Terrasilize? I, I stopped playing Scarlet and I need to pick it up because I just need to start playing games again. Pokemon Go is just the only Pokemon game I've been playing. So far we got two shinies and we need to get a couple more. If I could specifically get the one with the Charizard, because everyone loves a rare Charizard in any set, then we'll definitely go after that. But I will happily take any other shiny or any rare art. And I think there's something in the back. That is a shiny Palafin right there, but there's something else back there. There's a shiny Mew, no way! I forgot about that card! Dude! <laughs> Dude, we pulled two shinies back to back in one pack. Oh my gosh, dude, there's no way. Okay, the Palafin, it's not the full art like that one, but it is still a shiny nonetheless. And then I'm gonna grab the Mew. Two out of 10 in that pack, bro. That is insane. And look at it, it's, I think this is one of the rarest cards. I could be completely wrong, because I haven't done my research in months, because it's been forever. But dude, we have three more packs. This is by far the best Haldean, well, the best Pokemon card opening video we've had yet. But we just gotta put the icing on the cake if we wanna get the Charizard. Oh, let me put these decent cards on the side. Now let's open up this one. Dude, I'm, oh my gosh. I don't know why YouTubers and live streamers share codes. Uh, do people ever use the codes? I don't know. I feel like I don't personally. There's no... Oh, wait. I don't think I was supposed to look, but I think there was something back there, too. <laughs> Full Art Squawkabilly X... EX. Shiny. It's a shiny. No way. And these two. Okay. They're there. We're not even done with the set, and we just... This is all just from one box, by the way. And I'm glad I decided to let it sit there and, and open it months later, because, you know, sometimes you just gotta let it cook. I would like to get the Charizard, because that would just be the highlight of this video. And I'm, and I'm serious, you guys, okay, before we pull the last one, you guys gotta be very excited, because we, we are doing another card opening with the Temporal Forces. Boom! Okay, this is sick. This is a full art Clive card. This is a trainer card. This is sick. That counts as a rare card. It's not a shiny, but that counts. I'm putting it in the sleeve. Dude, I've been sleeving a lot of things. This is insane. We're gonna just go ahead and just put these cards away. <laughs> okay, that was terrible. Wrap. Oh my gosh. The, saving the best for last, and yet we're ripping it up the worst spoiler we got a cottony all right the fine type yep you saw the cottony you already saw it maractus guinea ghoul straggy grapple lock nomos backpack kilo quattrell electric generator another kilo quattrell but it's hollow oh okay this is actually cool artwork this is a noivern ex hollow i think whatever it is is actually really kind of cool I like this. It's not the card we're looking for, but dude, that didn't mean that this video didn't suck because man, I'm telling you right now, we got some bangers. Let's do a quick recap. This is probably one of the best cards that I have ever pulled in this video. This is super sick. I love the details. Next up, we got the shiny Curlia, and then we also have another shiny Palafin. So for those that don't know what a shiny Palafin looks like, this is what a more uh, specific 
look is but this artwork right there is so much cooler but it's not as cool as this shiny Mew for all you guys that know what a Mew is it is pink so the fact that we got this car right here I I could be wrong this could be one of the top five rares cards of the Paldean Fate set this card was really awesome we got a Clive to kind of add into it and then this is actually really cool we got the Neuvern EX which it's not as rare as the other ones but it's a cool card regardless honestly the top two best cards actually top three Clive because I guess the trainer arts are pretty rare so that's like third dude these two are the arguably the best cards we have pulled in the set this one is personally my favorite because of how detailed it is it's like under the water and it's like so ready to kick butt and then of course you guys can't go wrong with the classic mythical mew this is so cool well ladies and gentlemen i don't know about you but that is how we are going to end today's video we'll see you guys next week for another card opening on chicle chat peace out bye